What's up everyone, it's your boy Ron Clever and it's been a long time but I'm finally back. This video is my first Ask Clever video so I finally have a question that I've been asked in my email and I'm going to share it with you guys and I'm going to deliver it to this person and answer. So here we go. Dear Ron Clever, I have a question for you. My boyfriend lives in North Carolina and we've talked for a long time. Do you think I should move down there with him? Sincerely, relocation in North Carolina. Now, relocating for a partner is a really big deal. And relocating with a partner requires a lot of questions and a lot of things you have to ask before you relocate with somebody that you are in love with. Um, the question is, if anything, in the beginning, are you in love with this person? That's what you should be asking yourself first. And if the love that you do have this person, if it does still have conditions, are the conditions something that are manageable or something that will eventually evolve to being an unconditional love? Which I think is an awesome thing. Um, also, you understand know where you're moving to and the lay of the land. So, if going there works for you, let's say you're used to living in a big city like New York or a city like um, Washington, D.C., we're used to having access to mass transportation, things like that, maybe relocating to North Carolina may not be in the cards for you. But if you can deal with all that on the strength of love, I say go ahead and do it. Now, once you've got to that point in that thought, you have to think about jobs and, you know, where you guys want to live. I will suggest personally, from my own personal experience, I don't recommend moving in to his place. I recommend that you both find a place together that starts off fresh with both your own energies intertwined into it. Because usually when you move into somebody else's space, you're moving into their energy, you have to move yourself in with theirs, And because originally you weren't part of the moving plan. So their space is only primarily mentally set up for just themselves. So my thing is we have your own place as a couple, you move into a new spot, you both manifest the space together, which I think is a really awesome thing. Um, another idea you have to be concerned of, or another perspective about it is, if it fails, what do you do? And what is your contingency plan if it fails? You have to be very realistic about that. Not that I want any of our relationships that, um, that whoever, well, whoever's listening to this and the gentleman who sent me this, but I don't want your relationship to fail. I want it to be successful and I want it to be great. But you have to be realistic at times about certain things. And my thing is that if there's a chance that it could fail, where's your contingency if it fails? And my thing is, when you get down there, you know, do you have other friends or family down there? You, are you going totally to the situation, which is him in mind and no one else, and not having a social network? You might want to be aware of that as well. I do say that if you really feel strongly about the person and you are madly in love with them, and you say you've been dating for a long time, I say please proceed with this. Life is too short. Love is a great thing. I love being in love. I think it's such a beautiful thing. I think you definitely should go ahead and do it. But just be aware of what you're walking into. Make sure you make good decisions. And be aware that things aren't going to be perfect. And it's going to be a little nerve-wracking. And find a job maybe work. And understand that when you come down there, maybe you should try to find the job before you get there. You know, there's so many things minorly you may have to talk about. But if you love the person, it will make it so much easier to get through this process. But I'm pretty sure you'll be great. And I'm pretty sure that you'll be awesome. And I know you got this. So... There you go. This is my first Ask Clever. And if you have any other Ask Clever questions, make sure you email me at rawclever at rockamail.com, which you'll see here. Also, you can um, you, you can um, hit me up on Facebook or, yeah, maybe on Facebook because I wouldn't say hit me up on Instagram with a DM because I look at you like you're kind of crazy. But um, make sure that when you send an email to my email address, make sure you put in the subject line, Ask Clever. So I know to immediately look at your message because a lot of times I just ignore my emails because that's just what I do. But anyhow, love you all. Until the next video, I hope you guys have tons of more questions. I look forward to answering them. Until next time, peace. If you like this video and you want to see more, make sure you comment, subscribe, like, and share. Come on, it's Ron Clever, and you're trying to get into this thing, so you should, like, subscribe. And it's awesome, and it's the best thing ever. And besides, sometimes I'm, like, totally not wearing clothes. So follow me. And also you can find me on Twitter at Rock Clever. Also on Tumblr at Rock Clever. On Instagram at Rock Clever. And check out my blog at rockclever.com. Love you all.